Have you ever had a situation where you broke your can opener? I had that happen during the holidays. And uh, one of the hand can openers. Didn't work right. Couldn't get the can open. So I remembered an old trick my dad taught me when I was a kid. My dad had this knife he carried in the army. And uh, I asked him about it. I said, uh, did you use it to get out of minefields, probing for mines and digging them up? And his answer was interesting. He said, no, I use it to open cans, cans of sea rations. So you can take this knife. Now, I'm not going to use this one because the little butt end of it is missing. You know, this, this knife is, God, I don't know, 70 years old. But you put it like this. Put your hand up near the top. You have to angle it. Otherwise, you'll tip the can opener. You'll tip the can over. You can use... You can use one of your... Uh, regular kitchen knives. This old hickory is good. This butcher knife, you need a thick bladed knife. Otherwise, it's not going to work right and it could be uh, the, the knife will bend and you may end up ki uh, cutting yourself. So, you go like this. You want to hit with your hand on top of the butt of the knife. And do it hard, but not too hard. I'll use this old combat knife for kicks. You get the hole started. And remember, keep it at an angle so you don't tip the can over. Takes a little while. We did this on camping trips just because we thought it was cool. The Army made a little tiny can opener called a PR4. A little tiny thing. You had to have strong fingers. But it worked great. Worked like a regular old turn style kitchen can opener. Getting ready to tip on me. Well, it's close enough anyway. There we go. You got your can open. Army style. <laughs>